A little while ago, I posted a video about the top five places to do graffiti so that it lasts and so that the buff man can't mess with your pieces. I'll link that video in the corner in the description. But everyone had some great feedback about that video in the comments section. And that got me thinking, I wonder how many people would agree that there's just some places that it's useless to do graffiti. So that is why today we are talking about the top five places where graffiti gets buffed the fastest and you might as well not even bother putting up a single tag. And as we get into number five on this list, I'm going to sort of preemptively state that yes, it's okay to have different opinions on these spots and if you should be doing graffiti there or not for, for most of these spots. I always love hearing what all you graph heads have to say. And if you are down in the comments section adding to our great graffiti community, I will read your comment show it some love and I'd love to chat with you. But the fifth spot on this list of fastest places being buffed is reserved for those luxury businesses. Here what we're talking about car dealerships, jewelry businesses, even like really high-end clothing boutiques, places like that. And I know that might not be the first thing that you thought we were going to talk about on this list, or maybe even something we we're going to talk about at all on this list, but I'll explain why it's on here and I think you'll agree. Specifically with these high value businesses, the buff will take effect like nowhere else for one simple reason. And that reason is these guys have a reputation to uphold. With these businesses in particular, they can't be associated with anything that's even less than completely pristine. And I'll tell you what I mean by this. If you have a sushi restaurant that has a throw up on the side of it, they're still gonna sell a fair bit of sushi. All the regulars are gonna be in there buying that sushi up. Whereas if you have a tag, a throw on any part of a building that is a jewelry store, that can be a very high cost deterrent of business for that jewelry shop. It can wait a day or two for the people who own the sushi restaurant to get that throw up buffed. But even if that throw up is up one day on that jewelry shop and it costs them one sale of a five thousand dollar ring that is too much for them and they need it gone so you can bet that the buff man is going to be going over those tags and throws on those luxury businesses before the sun even comes up in most cases and something else you should consider before you say something like those are the businesses owned by rich people they deserve it you should probably consider that those are also the businesses that have extensive cctv camera coverage on their entire property and you probably are better off in this case just hitting the dumpster out back or something like that. And the fourth top place where you probably shouldn't even bother doing graffiti is on this list for more than one reason. It was also on our list of the top six most controversial places to do graffiti. Link in the corner to that or the description. And that is of course reserved for religious monuments or war memorials. So first of all, how do I start this conversation? Just don't because, well, obvious reasons. But the reason it's specifically on this list is because when you have things like that that have graffiti or vandalism on them, it tends to get the public disgruntled pretty quickly. And when that happens, you know the buff is going to be coming quickly. And for some of you clowns that for some reason need more explanation as to why this might not be the best place for your tags or throws, you can check out the video I just mentioned as it goes into a bit of detail about the way steeper penalties and fines that you can incur for defacing any kind of religious monument in particular. And the third top place where graffiti gets buffed quickly on this list is in a bit of a different category than the other ones. And that is, of course, on free walls or legal walls. Yeah, you heard me. And I know the buff man isn't going to be rolling through to paint over all the burners on a free wall or legal wall. That's not how it works. But if you're looking to have a peace ride for a long, long time, you're still in the complete wrong place to be doing graffiti. Because the reality is, unless you're one of the 
very best writers in an entire area and you paint there, or you have a ton of respect, do a piece there, and then somehow die or something like that, you're gonna get covered up pretty quickly. That's just the nature of free walls. <laughs> so although those free walls are a great place to practice and improve your graffiti, they are not the place where you wanna be putting your name if you want your name to ride for years and years. And the second fastest place where graffiti gets buffed is a nuisance to every graffiti writer simply because, well, I guess it's because municipal governments exist. <laughs> and that is any public spot in a particularly well-kept or protected area of a city or town. And I know that's a mouthful and it's also a little bit vague, but that's because it sort of has to be vague because it's different for every place that you go. For example, I grew up in a small town that I'm sure the people of would be happy to hear it called quaint. And this town is desperately to this day trying to become a tourist destination for whatever flawed piece of logic is in their head that made them think that was a good idea. But in a tourist town they know that there is no room for graffiti or any unsightliness whatsoever. So if you have any tags, throws, or pieces anywhere near the town center, city center, whatever of that town Town, you can bet your ass that there is gonna be a cleanup crew there before the yokels even have a chance to write an outraged article in their paper about it. Best advice for this one? Well, some of the more stubborn graph heads among us might say, although it's gonna get taken down quick and it's highly patrolled most often, you'll get seen quite a lot in a short span of time. The more laid back writers among us, on the other hand, might say something like, Try two blocks over. <laughs> Maybe let me know which approach you prefer in the comments below. And the fastest possible place that seems to get buffed is going to be a bit of a controversial one, but even Cope 2 has said about this graffiti spot that if you do decide to paint here and pull it off, you're basically just doing it so you can grab a quick photo. And Cope 2 has said this in a couple different graffiti documentaries, which are on YouTube if you guys can find these. Please throw them in the comments for everyone. And he has said this in regards to commuter trains or bullet trains. Now we are not talking about the freight scene here. These trains in particular are a totally different ball game. These are the kinds of trains that you need to get in and out fast with a whole crew of people if you're gonna try and even attempt a piece on these. And although it is slightly different depending on what country or area you live in, the reality is that nowadays almost all of these trains are going straight to get buffed right after the piece is done on them. Most of the time when you see those videos of whole crews painting a piece on those bullet trains and then see it crossing over wherever it's rolling to, what it's actually doing doing is being taken straight to the place where they have the buffing crews spray the trains down and that's going to be the only shot of that train rolling that that entire crew is going to see ever. So when it comes down to it, although this is a super badass way to get up, the reality is it's a very high risk and very low reward way to do graffiti, especially if you're looking for your pieces to stay up. So you guys let me know if there are other places where it's not even worth doing graffiti, it'll get buffed so fast and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of those graffiti reviews top five graffiti videos including the top five unbuffable places to do graffiti like i mentioned at the beginning of the video you can check that video out on screen now i hope to see you over there soon until then peace